Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a new functionality in Mesh Morpher which allows us to export skeletal meshes and sequences uh, to Alembic, right? So uh, I want to start uh, with uh, a body, uh, a body mesh and uh, we will uh, uh, go to ABC export and uh, select uh, an animation sequence you can select with or without animation sequences so if you don't have any sequence selected it will only the abc file the alembic file will only contain one frame which will be the which will be the skeletal mesh in neutral and uh, now let's go ahead and export this it's gonna take a little bit to process all the frames in the animation sequence Okay, the export is completed. Uh, let's uh, let's see how it looks in Blender. Mesh Morpher exports to Alembic with the Y axis up. So keep that in mind. Let's test this. Oh, file, import, and ABC. And uh, we need to select our ABC file. And you can see we have the animation in Alembic format, right? Uh, we can also uh, export to Alembic and enable uh, morph targets on top of it. So let's do another thing. We have this morph target and uh, if uh, we test with the Arkit animation, the morph target uh, will mess up everything, right? Uh, specific animation arc it let's enable this as you can see here in animation previewer everything is uh, messed up right so if uh, we do the same in uh, in uh, alembic exporter in mesh morpher uh, we select the arc it animation and enable the morph target. The morph, morph target won't be visible in this viewport. It will be added on top of it after we run the animation. And let's export this to export ABC2. Okay, the export is completed and uh, let's uh, see it in Blender. You can see that uh, our export is not messed up well, uh, if we export with this uh, morph target enabled because we apply the morph target after the animation, right? So uh, this is it, I think, for this video. Uh, you need to have a valid import data in your skeletal mesh. Uh, if uh, your uh, export looks odd, just export the mesh from Unreal Engine to FBX and uh, re-import it. And yeah, that's it. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this new functionality. See you around. Bye.